Hello everyone, I am Shivani and I am PhD research scholar in computer science department in Thapar University, Patiala. Today I am going to present my work on n-gram language modeling using smoothing. And here are the outline of my presentation. Human word prediction. We may have ability to predict the future words in an utterance. Utterance is the smallest unit of speech to express your ideas or feelings in spoken words we can say and uh, how we can express it by using domain knowledge syntactic knowledge lexical knowledge and what are the language model language model is basically a medium to assign the probabilities to the sequence of tokens tokens are the total number of words and how it is based on previous word histories. Ngram is the consecutive sequence of tokens. And here are some applications like speech recognition, handwritten recognition, and uh, spelling correction, leg lexical disambiguation, statistical machine translation, and others like include uh, pattern matching and uh, automatic authorship attribution. What is n-gram? n-gram is a subsequence of n items from a given sequence and uh, n-gram of size 1 is called unigram, of size 2 is called bigram and size 3 is called trigrams and items may be phonemes, syllable, letters, words and anything it will depend on the application. How many n-grams in a sentence? Uh, SK, SK shows the sentence X minus N minus 1, X shows the number of words in a sentence and shows the order of n-gram like uh, here we have given the example like the cow jumps over the moon and uh, here N is 2 so the value will be calculated like 6 minus 2 minus 1 that will be 5 so 5 n-grams in this case and where the values of n is 3 then we will get uh, the number of n grams in a sentence would be 4 n and uh, if our values will be above n uh, above 3 then we will it call it uh, uh, 4 gram maybe 5 gram and so on now what is corpora corpora is the online uh, collection of text and speech and here are some uh, examples of corpora like Brown Corpus, Wall Street Journal, AP News, Hansards, Derpa, NIST, Speech Corpora and Trains. Now how we can compute probabilities? Uh, it is given by the chain rule of probabilities like uh, the sequence of words are given uh, from W1 to WT. Uh, for that we have to keep maintain the record of all uh, words from w1 to wt minus 1 but practically it is not possible we can't uh, keep track of all possible histories of all words so for that for that we have to approximate the probabilities it is given by the idea of markov assumption means uh, we have to limit the history to fix the number of words it is given by some equation because Markov uh, rule says that only the f uh, some prefix words history we have to keep track in our record uh, for predicting a probability of a particular uh, word here is the Markov assumption for bigram language model and trigram language model now how to build n-gram language models there are some terminology uh, given like n is total number of words v is vocabulary size c is count of we can say frequency p is probability estimate and here is the conditional probability of producing wk if we are having uh, w uh, 1 to wk minus 1 history now what are the steps to build the n-gram models First of all, uh, we will start from easiest, from maximum likelihood estimates, where we use relative frequencies uh, for estimates. And uh, here are the equations of maximum likelihood for uh, unigram and bigram. Wj oblique Wi shows uh, 
to predict the uh, probability of wj where we have given wi uh, and here is the equation c wi wj upon c wi here is some problem in maximum likelihood estimation uh, that is the problem of first uh, data sparsity uh, data sparsity is the basically the property of data we can say of being scattered of being scattered we can say the data that is, that can be easily compressed and mle for that purpose the mle assigns a zero probability of unseen events it is bad because the probability of whole sequence will be zero there is example in certain corpus the author found 10 training instances of the word come across and of those eight times he follows as once by more and once by a so probability of uh, the given the two words come across we may have probability of as will be point eight more will be point one a point one but probability of x that we have to find it will become zero because it is not among the above three words so how the question arises how we will handle these unseen engrams or we can say novel events or rare events we can say it is possible by the method of smoothing uh, smoothing is the method to correct observed count and to replace them by better and more representative counts here are some smoothing methods like add one smoothing laplace lidstrom zephyrus parksla witten bell and good turing estimation first of all laplace law laplace law pretend that non-existing biograms are there once means just add one to all n-gram counts including the unseen ones here v is vocabulary size n is number of tokens and n plus v is collectively a new size of the text here is the example of laplace law in which we have tiny corpus vocabulary size is 4 and number of tokens are 20 two counts are 10 and according to laplace if we add 1 then it will become 11 and unsmooth count is this 0.5 and in laplace law equation if we, we will put the values then we will get 0.46 here is the variation Lidstone and Zephyrus Park's law in, in which we can say uh, instead of adding 1 add small value of lambda, lambda lies between 0 and 1 then equation becomes like this and Zephyrus Park's law said that lambda is 0.5 and the equation will become like this but problem is here is that how we can pick the best, best value of lambda means how much should we smooth next law is witten bell discounting witten bell's uh, discounting basically use the probability of seeing event for the first time it says that uh, uh, think of unseen events as once not having happening yet and if it happens we can model it by the probability of seeing it for the first time next method is good turing smoothing it re-estimate the probability mass assigned to n grams with zero counts and use the ratio of n plus 1 and n grams and it reallocate the probability mass of n grams that were seen once to the n grams that were never seen and and for uh, each count we compute adjusted count or we can say smooth count by this ratio nc plus 1 upon nc means the ratio of n grams that were seen once to the ratio of n grams that were never seen but if we got the highest value zero then that will create the problem so bottom line or we can say precaution is that the good during estimator is not used by itself but in the combination with other techniques next method is cat smoothing or we can say back of estimator in which we compute adjusted counts it works on the theory that steal from rich or seen events and give it to the poor means back off to the smaller n grams it says that uh, if 
do not use trigram probability but also bigram and unigram means no unigram found then use bigram and if no bigram found then then use uh, unigram means continue backing off until you reach a model that has some counts next method is linear interpolation linear interpolation method basically a mixing of different pieces of information to derive a probability because unigram and bigram provides different but useful information so we have to use them both with different weights here lambda is some function of the frequencies in which we consult all models at the same time to compute interpolated probability estimate next is how we can evaluate n gram language model first method is extrinsic evaluation model in which we put the model into application evaluate the performance next put model b into application then evaluate performance and compare those performance next is uh, in vivo method or extrinsic method was really time consuming for that we use the intrinsic method that is perplexity and perplexity is the method uh, to calculate how much probability does a grammar or language model assign to the sentence of the corpus compared to the another language model and it is the equation to calculate perplexity perplexity basically we, if we uh, we say minimizing perplexity it means we have to we have we are going to maximize the probability and the more information means the lower perplexity lower perplexity means better model and better model means we are close to our true model for example in case of word ice ice has the uh, most likely uh, the ice follows cream age and cube and uh, the eyes generally not follow the words like nuclear, peripheral and happily. So the perplexity of eyes is relatively low. And here are the references we, uh, from which I have consulted. Thank you. And if you have any query then I will provide the link of my email ID in YouTube.